guys, it's me, Charlene. Um, there, maybe it's better. Um, I woke up this morning and Abby did not want to go to school. Well, she did want to go to school, but she was acting like she didn't. She wouldn't get her clothes on or anything. She just wanted to whine and cry, and I was like, what is wrong? Come to find out, she was upset that the teachers had made a remark that on Wednesday, they, every Wednesday they have what they call pizza day. And she doesn't really care for pizza like her brother does. And her brother, he would eat it 24-7. But he was ready to go. He was ready to go out the door this morning, but not her. And, uh, you know how kids are. You know, if a teacher tells them something, that, you know, to me it should be expected that, you know, teachers, if they tell the kids something when they're little and impressive them, Whatever. I don't even think I said the word right. Ugh. I hate when that happens. But I don't feel like editing today. Um, you know, they're very young and impressive. Impressive. Whatever. My tongue is not working right. But if a, if a kid hears something when they're young, you know, it sticks to them, and some reason the teachers must have made a remark that on pizza day, nobody brings their uh, lunch bags because everybody eats pizza. So, that is why she didn't, well, she was throwing a fit this morning about going to school. And I told her, I said, I'll make you lunch, you know, and I, I finally got her ready. I took her to school, and I had to talk to her again when we got there, and finally convinced her that it was okay. Not everybody likes pizza. Some people are allergic to cheese. Some people just don't like it. And I said, the teacher was just making a little joke. And so finally, we went in in the school, and, you know, she was fine. And... So then I was leaving, and I get a phone call, and I was like, oh, no, it's the school, you know, because I figured maybe she got sick or something. Maybe that's why she was crying, but it was my brother, my twin brother. He calls and says his little boy, and you know, he's in preschool, and he said his little boy was giving him trouble, too, today. <laughs> and I was like, it, you know, it's so weird how me and him are twins, and but me and him go through a lot of the same things. It's, we have like a lot of the same feelings, and I can think of him, and he can think of me, and a phone will ring. And I wouldn't be surprised if the phone don't ring right now, because I'm talking about him. But um, when I think about calling him, it's like a twin intuition. Um, the phone will ring, or I'll have the phone in my hand, and I'm getting ready to call him, and he'll be on the line, and I'm like, How'd you get here? I didn't call you, but I was getting ready to call you. And he's laughs and says, "Well, I was calling you." <laughs> somehow we get connected on the telephone. We have a crazy time like that. And I also wanted to get rid of some of the. I wanted to make another video to get rid of some of these ugly icons on my page. I got uh, three. One looks okay, but the other two, ooh. I look just plain nasty. I was like, that don't even look like me and those icons. Have you noticed that the icons are just, they give you the ugliest choices, but I do make a lot of faces. I know I'm very, in, I've lost it. I'm very expressive. How about that? Yes, I'm very expressive with my face. I've always been like that. I think it comes from taking taking um, theater in school because, you know, you had to be expressive for your face. And I've always been like that. And it's a hard habit to break, and I don't think I'm going to because 
I like to express myself in my face. You know, I like to show my emotions and my reaction, you know? So, yeah, and I guess when YouTube picks those photos up and the little icons, I always pick the ugliest things I can find. <laughs> Oh, Lord. And YouTube is messed up. So, guys, if I'm not commenting on your videos, it's because I don't know if you've got a new one or not. Because I go on my front page when I start on, you know, it gives you, what is it, like six or so of uh, the most recent videos within so many hours. And then you go to the subscription to look at the other ones. And it goes error, sending monkeys on the, to fix the errors. Well, those monkeys better hurry up and fix the problem because I don't even know if my friends on here have made mo videos. I even went to subscription to, to just go through and see if anybody had made, you know, any new videos. And the same thing happens there. And then last night I wanted to send a private message, a private video to Leslie and the stupid thing wouldn't even work. It kept on telling me that I was, um, the, an invitation was sent to her to approve as a friend. And I know she's my friend. She's, I'm on her friends and she's on mine. So, I don't know what the problem is. There's a problem with YouTube right now. And, I hope they get it fixed because I like seeing, um, you know, your videos and stuff. I don't know who's made one of who, who's not. And uh, I, I don't like that. Uh, I don't know what I was going to tell you. Oh, yeah, I have a question for you. Have any of you um, made a um, personalized t shirt? Because I want to make a t shirt with um, a photo and some sands on it because I'm going to wear it to a concert but I am having the hardest time getting the I would think it would need to be the image should be like an 8x10 because you know like a like a photo an 8x10 but the trouble I'm having is every time I go to put the picture on to the shirt the picture is always too small I don't know what's going on. I just wondered if you guys have had any kind of issues or if you've made you've personalized t-shirts. Maybe you can help me out and recommend what I should do. But yeah, I need to get it done soon because my concert I'm going to is um, it's October 30th and you know it takes a couple weeks for the t-shirt to get here. But, um, yeah, my day started off terrible. I ended up having a sore throat this morning. Probably from all that rain or allergies or whatever, but I ended up having to take allergy medication. And um, I was feeling really, really bad, so I said, you know what? Get your tush in the shower, fix, fix your hair, put makeup on, get yourself dressed. And as my mom always said, if you just look like a bum, you're going to feel like a bum. If you get yourself dressed, at least you look impressive. Even if you don't feel too good, you know? And most of the time, if you take a shower and just get yourself dressed, you'll even feel better. You know, it's true. I should always listen to my mom. I have to. I know she's, she may not be here with me on earth, but I know she's with me on the other side. I know, I know she's watching over me. Um, I will talk to you guys later, and um, bye for now. Happy hump day.